Hello everybody, it's the Butter Apple here with another Simpsons Hit and Run Mission Modding Tutorial. Mission Modding, okay. Um, so today we're going to be making a race objective. Here are some uh, some files here that I'm using as D something because it took me like a while to fix everything that I did wrong. Anyways, um, let's run some gameplay of what I'm going to be teaching you now as I am explaining it. So basically what it is is when it's like... Uh, a three, two, one, go, and then you're racing someone. So it's uh something like that. It's pretty cool. Many thanks to Candace Flynn for um, suggesting this tutorial, and I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. So, uh, anyways, if um, I think that's all, and let's uh, let's get right into it. So, open up your uh, tutorial, custom file, script, missions, level one. This is scripts, and then the art folder too. And whatever your mod's called, mine is called tutorial. And we're going to need some files like, uh, okay, art, missions, L1, and then I'm going to copy M2 and paste it into this file, M2, and then I'm going to go out, or go, go to the scripts over here, and I'm going to grab... I'm going to, let me get there first, I'm going to grab the uh, scripts for it. Missions L1, M2. And paste it here. So now we're pretty well ready. So I'm going to open up MI, uh, Mission uh, Information. And I'm going to leave all this pretty well good. Yeah, leave that like that. Um, this one I've, I'm not. I'm gonna have it so we don't enter the house. We just go like straight to Marge. So uh, once again, like the last tutorial, we are going to be uh, doing a lot of trial and error. And yeah, let's start that trial and error now. For some unknown reason, Marge is outside. I never quite uh, figured why that was that, but. Whatever. Okay, I have to remove the go outside one. But anyways, um, so we have to remove the one that we talked in it too. Okay, so let's remove some scripts. Let's remove some stuff in here. So remove all the Ned stuff. Like okay, there. That should be all we have to do. Uh, don't open anything. Save and I'm going to launch it. Okay, so now let's talk to Marge and see if it worked. Yep, and it didn't crash. So now all I gotta do is just get in our vehicle and drive around and collect Ned's stuff. So yeah, that worked. So now we have our script space we set up. But before we can actually start scripting the level, um, we're gonna have to add some stuff into the loadings. Which is this and the uh, the artful file that we put in there before. That there. Okay, got it. So I'm gonna be using my reference scripts a lot because, well, I don't want to type it all out. Just being fair. Okay, so uh. We're going to open up the M2L. And one, two very important things you need in here. You need the F line, which is the finish line, and uh, the car you want to race. We're going to be racing something generic. So it's just going to be a C nerd. We can change that later. Anyway, save it once you're done. Close, I'm going to close the reference script. And now, on to the actual thing. So, this is a working modified mission file. So I've tested it. Thanks to uh, all the help from all the people at the Donut Team community for helping me out building it. I was trying to do this before, and it was not working. But thanks to them, it does. So um, we're gonna get in the vehicle, and on this script, it's gonna act. A, it's gonna add a stage vehicle, which is the car we're racing. Add a start countdown timer thingy. Uh, whoops, it is. It's gonna place the vehicle. It's going to add the objective of racing the vehicle and add the uh, finish line. It's going to add a condition. It's going to add a bunch more stuff. So yeah, we're not going to copy and paste the entire thing. 
I'm going to ease into this nicely. But first things first, I'm going to uh, space some of these out to, so that way these will feel a bit more comfortable doing this. So I'm going to add the stage vehicle now. This will basically just place it somewhere on the map. Boom. Longer than I expected. And I'm going to add the countdown to and then I'm going to test it. And it should not crash. If it does, well, we could always just come finish the script and then try it at the very end. But I usually like easing into stuff nice and easily. So save. So now when we do the mission, it's going to give us a countdown timer. Uh, make sure everything's good. Yeah. Okay, start. Launch. Talk to Marge. Doesn't crash. Doesn't crash yet. Okay, and as you can see, uh, the C nerd is on the map somewhere, and the countdown actually worked. So let's go find the nerd. There he is. Not too sure if this is actually a part of the map or not, but he's here. Apparently I'm kicking him. Anyways, um, he worked. He's there. All is good. But now you can see he's, uh, he spawned quite a ways away. And that, that, that kind of sucks. So this is why we need the, uh, the modified locator, because I actually added a place for the, uh, the AI start. So... I'm just going to copy this, control C for copy, I'm going to paste it, save it, uh, yeah I want to save it, you know what, I must have uh, done something there, let's make sure it's saved, yep it's all good, so now we can run the game and it should move to a new uh, location, so once I get in here it should spawn in his vehicle, as you can see it's uh it's not over there in the waypoints, it's actually over here. It's, uh, when you add a stage vehicle, it doesn't really matter where you put it, really. But I put it, uh, right there. Whoa, that's kind of cool. You heard it here first, folks. You can officially climb over stuff in Simpsons Hit and Run. Because, mm, logic. Anyways, it worked. Um, on to the next part. So, if we go down the script a little bit more once I get to the script. Uh, nope, that one and that one. We'll see that we have... Uh, mission 1 Skinner Start. I'm not sure if this is important or not, but I add in here anyway. Um, so we need to add that stage waypoint right above this. Don't know why it keeps untabbing. And then here's the objective part. So we got to put go to... Or whatever yours is to race. Add a, and uh, instead of uh, having turn go to dialog off, we're just gonna have a collectible, which will be the finish line. Boop. Remove the set stage time. And let's just continue adding stuff. So this is the condition for race. I will. Uh, I I realize that I uh, have not been giving you guys the actual script for stuff or the, the tutorial level thingies so yeah I'm sorry about that um this time I will include it I will update it before it wasn't updated and the last things we have to do is just input these into here um so race finish this is basically the one that I stole from level one it works fine and m1 skinner start mission one skinner start so that's all good. So this should work and nothing should crash. Hopefully. Let's uh let's make sure that all that's correct. Talk to Marge. So that worked. Get into our vehicle. Three, two, one, go! As you can see, the car over there is animated. And uh, 
It's set to level 3.con, we can change it too, and I'll, also I'll show you guys how to change the starting places and finish lines. But as you can see, it, uh, well, it sometimes, it, it'll, it'll go really randomly. Just look at him over there, I don't know what he's doing. And he, uh, be, will become stupid sometimes. I think he's coming. Yeah, there he is. I'll also show you guys how to change the car. This is just me, uh, getting the level actually all set up. But yeah, this is a this is a race. It's a high speed race with a, an AI. Lots of uh, excitement. I'm just making sure everything all works fine. Oh, he might actually win. That was bad. No, I would never lose to an AI in my life. Got it. I made it. I didn't lose to an AI. <laughs> Okay, so I won the race, allegedly. So now I'm going to show you guys how to change a lot of the stuff in here. So from finish is basically just the uh, no, the finish line. Race underscore finish is the finish line. Amazing. Um, I don't even know how to change the rotation of it. Whatever. Um, actually, I'm going to try something. If I'm going to see if I can... Uh, Grab the one from L1. Because I think that one was already horizontal for us. Since it's basically the same spot, it should uh, score correspond and work. So M1. Yeah, this one has a rotation. Alright, so uh, I'm just going to delete that one I can always add, I'll add it back if I if it doesn't work so this is just basically testing because if it worked in the uh, the L10 it should work in here that's my uh, that's my beautiful logic this is the exact same as halo modding I jump into a game I change something no I jump into a game find out it, it worked jump out change something different yeah I'll have to do it to something about halo modding and it, it didn't crash, so this time I'm just gonna beat him right up, right start out, because I want to see if it worked. Actually, I'm curious to see if he takes the shortcut this time. First time I tested this, he took the shortcut. This time, he uh, he didn't. Well, no, he didn't. He's a uh, he's an AI. We'll give him we'll give him props for uh, knowing how to drive in general without having any uh. AI things around. He's basically just knowing when a wall is coming and how to turn away from it. And it's still not good. Oh well, let's uh, let's put the let's put the other one back because I think that one worked better. So I'll just uh, copy out all that. And put it into here. Boop. Yeah, boop. Wait, what? Okay, copy that. Paste it there. Okay, and then I'm just going to rename it. Uh, race underscore finish. And delete this one. So uh, now we're back to basically normal. I uh, don't know why it wasn't, you know properly done. Oh god, I'm just gonna delete two of these. From okay. Save. Okay, so it should be good. Should be. I'm using that term lightly. I'm just throwing that term all over the place. But whatever. So now we're gonna change the car. So now we're treading on territory I haven't actually tested around with, so yeah, it's, it's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna need this. And M1I. So, uh, nobody likes a C nerd. Well, nobody likes the car. So I'm going to change this to, uh, mm, I think that's a C Bart. No, it's, not, it's definitely not C Bart. Let's check what that car is called since I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it to Bart's car. Uh, C, where's Bart? It's just Bart underscore B. 
Oh, Bart underscore V. Okay, so. Bart underscore V. And I'm going to have it as Bart. So Bart's going to be driving his Bart's car. Save. Get out of that. Okay, Bart. I'll keep the uh, difficulty the same. I'll just put this to Bart. Basically, everywhere where it says senior, I'm putting to Bart. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, well, let's try them out, save them both, and then try it out. Let's see if it actually changed the car properly or if it broke the game even more. You just never know. Yeah, it crashed. Okay. So, I think that might be because I made this rather than AI to Bart. So, put that back to AI, save it, try it again. Oh, I just do a live stream, just me uh, messing around with mods. People in the comments could uh, comment what they'd like to see. God dang it. I'm putting stuff back to C Nerd now because, well, something went wrong. I don't really know what it is. For all we know, it could have been the locator because I would go, exactly go back and retest it. Wait. Damn it. Is it just C nerd? Um, yeah. Okay, so everything should be good. Okay, so now it works. We'll see what happens. Okay, so it's back to the C nerd. So we uh, we know that wasn't the problem. Wait, who's driving it though? Okay, so Bart's driving it. That's cool. See, he took the shortcut that time. Okay, so he's not that dumb. Okay. But now, um, let's attempt to change the type of car he's driving if it doesn't crash on me again. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, make, see if I can make that Bart underscore V, or yeah, Bart underscore V. File save. Now I'll play it and see what happens. Because all I want is the Bart's card. Doesn't really matter to me what the uh, actual stuff says. I don't know what a beef. What beef does this have with Bart's car? Hmm. Okay, I'm actually going to uh. Take a look in some other files that have races and see what they did. I'll uh, not skip but speed up. Okay, so I changed all the properties and I checked over uh, other scripts that they had, and everything I had seemed to work. But it crashes. So I'm going to put exactly what they had. So they used, uh, I was checking up the middle, uh, level 7 script. That's what I was looking at. And um, what they had was a. Uh, let's see, it didn't even have anything here. So what they had was they had CBL Bart. Something like that. Let me uh just find it. Okay, yeah, C B L Bart. So I'm just gonna copy that a bunch of times, paste it everywhere. So it's like a black Bart car, I guess. And save it. Now M I M two I. They had it there. You didn't even have this. We'll take all that. That's not needed. Oh, maybe this is important. Okay, so I'll put that to uh, be all Bart. That should help it. Okay, so I'm going to save them both, see if it works. 
launch it. And let's uh, try it. Okay, so uh, the black part worked. I don't think that's a nice thing to say. What did I crash into? I wonder. But yeah, it's working. That's amazing. Oh my god, it sucks the driving then. Um, after this, I'm actually going to show you guys how to uh, configure the difficulty, since now that we know that, well, I, show, I somewhat showed you guys how other characters works. My god, this guy's so dumb. Let's go, man. Wow, we're racing here. You just ran to a police officer. That's sad. Hey, Bart. Bart ain't even in the car. Wait, what? Hey, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I removed Bart because, well, they didn't even have it. Oh, boy. It's gonna be a close one. I made it! <laughs> okay, so, let's get out of that. And now I'm gonna show you how to configure, um, the actual stuff. Configure difficulties, I meant to say. Okay, so, uh, we go to scripts. Cars. Should be in here. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, in here, there's a bunch of, uh, different types of races. So I'm gonna go into missions, and then go into L1, and just copy this. Because why not? And I'm going to paste that in one of here, in here. So our custom file, scripts, cars, missions, level, a one, paste. Here's where you can, uh, well, you can configure your own stuff. And no, I don't know what any of this means, but if you do, <laughs> have fun. So I'm just going to put these to whatever I want. Uh, I'll put that to like 10. Oh, this, this isn't important. I'll put that 12. I'm just testing stuff here. You know, top speed's going to be like 500. You know, got to have that nice speed. Um, I'll leave that at like 40, I guess. Um, one, yeah, definitely one. Tire grip's going to be like one normal steering <laughs> 200 slip steering i'm gonna just put that to like mm, five flip brake effect one oh no it says three on the side beautiful uh e-brake effect <laughs> 100 no effect i don't think that's important so i'll put that to 200 i'm gonna ignore all that yeah, suspension. Oh, who loves? Who doesn't love a suspension? This is probably gonna crash the game. Hit points. Oh, 1,000. Character scale. <laughs> I'll put that to a really big number. And I don't care about shadows. All right, let's save it. Um, that's actually rename it too. To so, um, <laughs> mission two race. Beautiful, lovely. So, now we go into M2I, and missions, level 01, boop, 01, mission 2 race. That's what it's named. Yeah, mission 2 race. Now, I'm editing the wrong one, and I should be editing this one. So once I edit this one, we're going to test it out, and we're going to see how awesome this makes it. So, uh, let's save it, and let's play it. That should become my new tagline. Let's save it and play it. So really this tutorial is just full of madness of me trying my best to teach you guys or show you guys everything that I think has to do with a race, like changing characters one up. Okay, I don't think a con file is that important. I can't change the driver that much. I mean, come on. Here we 
Here it comes. Oh, see? It's going slower than normal. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I will, uh, I will add this. I will add this to it. You guys can have lots of fun with it. I will, yeah, I'll include this in the uh, tutorial folder. I don't even know where it went. Um, it still thinks it's racing. We might lose. As you can see, it's very, uh, it's stable. Look how stable it is. I've never seen something so stable in my life. Oh god. But yeah, I'll include this because I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to want to have this for your uh, personal uh, <laughs> ouch. use. Okay. Let's just keep going. He's fine. I'm, oh my god. There are street thingies, or there are skid marks in the air. See, he's awesome. He knows what he's doing. I'm having too much fun with this. Anyways, if you actually did want a harder race, you could just always borrow the one from level seven, which I'll show next. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna delete this one. I'm gonna save this one. I'm gonna put this in the files wanted folder. Not the files needed folder. Look at his wheels. Oh wait, he might actually win. Nope. Get wrecked. I am the winner. Okay. The rest of the mission you can change on your own. I don't really mind how the mission is. So I'm just showing. I'm just trying to prove point how it works. So let's uh, let's actually make it harder and put it to like level seven, mission seven, because that's uh, somewhat hard, I guess. That's just a little bit. M seven, M uh, that, save, and let's see how hard that makes it. Kind of cool how it didn't crash though, even though his car lost all its wheels and was flying all over the place. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, play. Yeah, yeah, talk to Ned Flanders. No way, I'm gonna go have a race. So this should make it a bit more difficult to race him because of how it is. I mean, I'm racing somebody that's uh, from level 7. Oh, God. Go, go, go. He appears to be going a little bit faster. There he is. Oh my god. He still sucks at racing, though. You're making bad decisions. He'll probably respawn once he gives up or gets out. Anyway, guys, if you like this uh, tutorial and you'd like to see more from me, um, leave a like and comment down below what tutorial you'd like to know about next. I am, uh,. Even though this took me over 24 hours to make and figure out and all that, I, uh, I got lost at a couple parts. Well, not really lost, I just had a lot of crashes, and it was a very, uh, not fun. But yeah, um, if you guys like this tour, like to see some more, uh, comment down below. We're gonna see if we can wait till this guy does it, or I might just end, or I might speed it up till the end. Or at least until he blows himself up, good god. Nope, nope, he's back on, never mind. Bro, get with it. Oh, I think he's getting with it. Or he blows himself up. Whatever. Anyways, that's basically how you make a race objective. I know this tutorial was all over the place, but um, uh, me trying to do this yesterday was kind of frustrating, and today, same kind of deal, really. But uh, I hope this was a good tutorial for you guys to watch. And yeah, if you like the tutorial and you'd like to see some more from me, comment down below what you guys like to see next. Um... I've said that three times, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!